Finance is a difficult issue for medical students because it's a long course. It can be five years, sometimes even six years long. And it's very intense, of course, so you have to uh, work long hours and there's not really a lot of time to spend doing part-time jobs and so on. There are various forms of support available. So the first thing you'll think about is the student loans company. Now they will give you a loan to cover your fees and they'll also give you a maintenance loan which is something that can help, you can help to live on. Now depending on how much money your parents earn, the university might also give you a grant to help you through, to help you find enough money to keep studying. Some students do part-time jobs at certain times in their course and it can be rewarding if they get a useful job. Other people find that they don't have enough time. And it's fair to say that some students get help from their parents and other students don't get help from their parents. Some students have to use overdrafts and there are professional development loans uh, available from, from the bank. So it can be very confusing when you're a student and you're starting out and you're thinking, how am I going to fund this? But it's important to remember that there are various ways that you, that, that you can fund it and the BMA actually produces a student finance guide which you can download from the website and that'll help you look at all the different options for paying your way through medical school. I think as well it's important to remember that uh, the training period for medicine is, is, is quite long so you do your undergraduate uh, in the university and at that time you're on the different forms of support that I've talked about but also you do a lot of training on the job and that starts from what's called your foundation one and your foundation two years so they're your first years after you graduate now you are training and you are learning at that time but you're also getting paid so the financial pressures will be uh, somewhat lifted off at that point and you'll be able to start repaying some of the loans uh, and whatever else that you've used to fund your way through through university so it's important to remember that when you graduate, there are jobs there for you and when you're working in those jobs you will be getting paid and you'll be able to uh, make some contribution towards the, the debts that you might have accumulated. So it's not all bad news.